Hello, and thanks for watching another episode of ARFCOM News, your twice-weekly dose of the finest 2A propaganda. Turns out Steven Spainhauer was lying through his teeth. Who is that, you ask? He's the guy who raced to the cameras after Radio shooting in Texas to peddle gun control. Well, the Allen PD released a statement refuting virtually every one of his claims. Turned out he didn't actually get there when he said he did, wasn't first on the scene, was not present while shooting was still happening, and he did not perform chest compressions as he had claimed. In fact, LNPD says this dude did not render any type of trauma care for any of the victims whatsoever. This is the appropriate moment in time to pause and remind all of you to carry a tourniquet and keep a trauma care kit within reach. Radio shootings are incredibly rare despite the misinformation from the legacy media. You are about twice as likely to die of a bee sting than a radio edit. But there were 43,000 motor vehicle related deaths last year. So keep your kit where you can reach it and learn how to stop the bleed. Now, why did Stevie lie to the media though? Was it just to get internet clout on a toxic Chinese controlled platform? Nope. I'm a former police officer. I'm a former army officer. But these M4s, M AR-15s, they've got to get off the streets. There it is. He did it to push gun control. But why do control freaks always claim to have been a cop or a soldier to promote restrictive government policies anyway? Cops and soldiers carry radios too. Does that make them radio experts? Besides, turns out old Stevie here was only technically a cop anyway. He got reprimanded for carrying unauthorized ammunition and then fired from the Florida State University PD after three months. So, anyway, you cut it. This guy is just not credible. But it would be impossible for us to produce quality two-way propaganda without sponsors. So let's pay some bills. Today's video is sponsored by TNVC.com, your source for good old-fashioned all-American night vision, just like mom used to make. Florida's SB 214 has passed both houses and was signed into law by the governor making it illegal for credit card companies to track gun sales using a separate merchant code. This is good news in other states besides Florida, not just because similar laws could get passed there, but because it might be easier for some credit card processors to simply avoid using the codes altogether regardless of state. Minnesota passed a 500-page omnibus public safety package which included red flags and universal background checks. I'm not saying you should go out and bury all your guns in the woods. But if you were a dangerous nutter and you had done that and the cops came around to take the ones you didn't hide, uh, would that make you more or less of a dangerous nutter? Now, I've said it dozens of times, but if someone is really dangerous enough to take their property, then it's foolish to leave them access to other weapons. South Carolina's permitless carry bill S-109 passed out of Judiciary Committee and is off to the races. So whether or not you live in South Carolina, please pause this video and take a few seconds to call Senate President Thomas C. Alexander and tell him 27 other states already have permitless carry and it is about time for South Carolina to join the majority. Folks, we're on a roll with permitless carry, and I firmly believe this is the most important issue in the gun rights movement right now. This guy is looking at 14 years in the federal struggle cuddle room, and apparently they still use a Game Boy to take mug shots in Mississippi. The Justice Department says he was printing auto sears and sold one to a snitch. He had a prior conviction back in 09 for a controlled substance, so they really threw the book at him in the courtroom. How does this relate to gun rights, though? Well, this investigation is a perfect example of local task forces working with the ATF to enforce federal law. Recently, the control freaks have been pushing to ban auto sears at the local level, which causes snickers from our side. But these efforts ought to be taken more seriously. Now, while gun nerds like you and I might look at it as redundant and stupid and foolish and redundant because new auto sears are functionally illegal at the federal level anyway, 
These efforts do two really important things for the control freaks. First, they stir up emotions in smooth-brained suburban housefrows who have no clue what existing laws are. But more insidiously, they also have the potential to undermine certain 2A sanctuary laws which will only prohibit local law enforcement from enforcing federal laws if there's no equivalent state law. Now remember, the ATF has virtually no ability to enforce federal law without the cooperation of local police. Senator Chris Murphy said he thinks the people will revolt if he doesn't get the gun control he wants. It is said that the people are revolting. You said it, they stink on ice. <laughs> With what though? I mean, can you even hear yourself? Uh, let me see if I'm following. So uh, you're going to take up arms against the government to force them to take up arms against the people to force them to give up their guns? Right, so what if they got a Trace Buster too, huh? Yo, 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 that's why I got this Trace Buster Buster. See, when a motherfucker try to bust your Trace with a Trace Buster, this motherfucker is going to bust the motherfucking Trace Buster that's busting your, uh, uh, uh. Trace, that's my word, player! Be honest. What pills were you on when you said this? And now, for your moment of zen. Clock 20 full size, 10 millimeter, clock 21 full size, 45 ACP, clock 22 full size, 40 spins, the question is the key. Hey friends, do you like pews and other pew related things? Well then, chances are you ought to check out my friend Jeff Gonzalez's interview with Ernest Langdon, owner of Langdon Tactical. Link will be right there and down there in the doobly-doo. If you want to help us, Keep delivering you pure, uncut American pew propaganda at the low, low price of three fifty. Though we literally couldn't pay the bills without our sponsors, so do yourself a solid and get yourself something nice from them. You deserve it. I love you.